The Dragon's Tears, compiled by Florence Akade, illustrated by Yoshio Hayashi, published by Turtle Publishing. This is a Japanese story. Far away in a strange country, there lived a dragon, and the dragon's home was in a deep mountain cave, from which his eyes shone like headlights. Very often, when some of the people living nearby were gathered in the evening by the fire, one would say, "What a dreadful dragon is living near us!" And another would agree, saying, "Someone should kill him." Whenever children were told about the dragon, they were frightened. But there was one little boy who was never frightened. All the neighbors said. Isn't he a funny little boy? When it was almost time for this funny little boy's birthday, his mother asked him, "Whom would you like to invite for your birthday party?" Then that little boy said, "Mother, I would like to ask the dragon." His mother was very much surprised and asked, "Are you joking?" "No," said the little boy very seriously. "I mean what I say. I want to invite the dragon." And sure enough, on the day before his birthday, the little boy strolled quietly out of his house. He walked and he walked and he walked till he reached the mountain where the dragon lived. "Hello, hello, Mr. Dragon!" the little boy called down the valley in his loudest voice. "What's the matter? Who's calling me?" rumbled the dragon, coming out of his cave. Then the little boy said, "Tomorrow is my birthday, and there will be lots of good things to eat. So please come to my party. I came all the way to invite you." At first, the dragon couldn't believe his ears, and kept roaring at the boy. But the boy wasn't frightened at all, and kept saying, "Please, Mr. Dragon, please come to my party." Finally, the dragon understood that the boy meant what he said, and was actually asking him, a dragon, to his birthday party. Then the dragon stopped roaring and began to weep. "What a happy thing to happen to me!" the dragon sobbed. "I never had a kind invitation from anyone before." The dragon's tears flowed and flowed until at last they became a river. Then the dragon said, "Come, climb on my back, and I'll give you a ride home." The boy climbed bravely onto the back of the ferocious dragon, and away the dragon went, swimming down the river of his own tears. But as he went, by some magic, his body changed its size and shape. And suddenly, what do you know? The little boy was sailing bravely down the river toward home as captain of a dragon steamboat.